Will they DC? Will they stay? <laughs> Turn into a bit of a catchphrase. Beginning of these games. Do school merchant skin. Excellent. Lining it up like a lighthouse. I'm expecting this Lori to DC. Lori's just DC if you fart in the direction, so. Which one over there? Okay. This is balanced, isn't it? Okay. There's no pallet here. Wow. Bit of a dead zone. Yeah, that was obvious. We've put it in the shack because we don't bother to wire totems. Called it. This one, no scourge, no fit. Yep, there you go. This is P one hundred, by the way. This this Claude is a P one hundred. See how he nearly gets that from literally nowhere. So we appear to be against, ladies and gentlemen, four apes that don't understand that this killer is literally one of the easiest killers to survive in the game if you actually play the game out. Give it time, I'll have evidence of that on my channel as well. Once we get people that actually loop and play it out. Yep, there's the kill. P100, by the way. Push him back around there, get him to drop it. Should be slowed at this point in time. Don't know where he went then. Through there. Yeah, now he's slowed. Right on the tip. We do get a scourge! And no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to give mercy to this absolutely childish fucking behaviour. Because I don't want to promote into it, basically. Because when you do give these fuckers mercy, they'll do it all the more. The next time they go against the killer they don't want to uh, face. It is literal child behaviour. So you need to do you need to basically play around it as so. She's on that gen behind me. Not happening. It is not fucking happening. I know it's video gaming, ladies and gentlemen, but sometimes we have to do things in life that we are not 100% on board with. You get a Skull Merchant, uh, one every 10 games, maybe, if that, maybe more. It's a bit of an issue where you just have to fucking man up. You see how I can't actually get her there? It's almost like I'm an M1 killer that doesn't have a chase power. He's out there again, I think she revolted there. This is with the slow as well, by the way, just want to promote that. She was on that side, I got stuck on the wall. Incoming gifted hatch. But it is delightful evidence from this lorry. This is what you DC from. Dance with me, that's why. She's fucked that up though. 
absolutely no threat in chase whatsoever. The only threat she has is the fact that you can't see the red glow. <clears throat> Fucking embarrassing. Really is. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the skin's nice. So usually when a good skin comes out as well, regardless of the character's controversy within the community, I will fucking play as it. I don't care. You know? We celebrate good content on this uh, channel. As rare as that probably is to believe, based on the usual commentary. But this skin is fucking nice, mate. I like this skin. This is basically Skull Merchant for me now. I don't think I'd ever go back to any other Skull Merchant. Well, that's not... A that's a, that's a lie, because quite a lot of the skin's quite decent. But this one's going to be very, very frequent. Because it's got a sort of... It's almost like a nun, in a way. Like a vampiric nun appearance. Um, and obviously I've drawn it for my thumbnails, so... <laughs> you can see the uh, thingy there for that. But yeah, look at these numbers. DS. Dead hard. Adrenaline. That's not bothered. Made for this... Background player. Speed hacks, basically. Resilience. Minor speed hacks in chase. Hope. Speed hacks at endgame. Made for this. Mm, not as relevant as it used to be. More speed hacks. But I'm supposed to play against this, ladies and gentlemen. I, I have to put up with all this. You know, I have to put up with things that I, ne I don't necessarily want to play against, you know, in video games. Because who wants to chase somebody, right? Uh, where they can be chased for a, a quite a large degree of time against this killer because as I say she is an M1 killer with no fucking ranged ability no chase power whatsoever other than being a little bit more stealthy than everybody else right so I chase a survivor and they manage to loop me because I am an M1 killer for quite a long time I finally catch up to that survivor oh there's a dead hard the chase gets re-fucking set and I have to do all that again do you think I want to play against that? Probably not, you know, if, you, if you've got a bit of a, you know, a brain between your ears, you might be able to realise that maybe, no, I don't want to play that against that, but I do every fucking single game, you know. Uh, also, DS, you know, maybe we're in a bit of a tight spot as the killer, and I have to tunnel people, which is a bit of a, you know, a, a, an actual relevant talking point in this day and age of the game, where tunnelling is very slowly, or very quickly actually, I should say, uh, becoming an actual fucking requirement to do anything against a moderately coordinated team. So say we're in that situation where I need to tunnel somebody out because we've lost three gens in the first chase because gen speeds, um, regardless of my efficiency in chase whatsoever. Uh, say I actually go for the tunnel as the strategy to down the survivor and try and get somebody out so it becomes moderately fucking manageable, the game. Oh, there's DS. Guess we reset chase again. Do you think I want to play against that? Probably not, you know? Again, if you've got a brain between your ears. So, when I lock this killer in, granted that, you know, I'm playing her at the moment because I like this skin, and I do think it's a very nice skin, so I'm going to play it, as I said in the game. Maybe just once, uh, whilst you've got your feet on the desk while you're playing a survivor, you know, maybe you can just allocate some time during your day to a game where maybe it's not 100% the thing you want to play against, you know? Um, but there you go. So we'll we'll end that little little story time there, you know. It's a fucking it's just it's a monkey brained rhetoric. It really is. Fucking apes, mate, that push it on the forums, quite honestly. And it's got to the point where it is it is actually sheep mentality. Because people just take this as gospel for this killer now, where she's literally one of the least problematic killers in this game. In terms of like playstyle and things like that. She's not even bad to play against. I've fucking played against her as Survivor. And I don't sit there thinking, oh fucking hell, I want to be out of this game as soon as possible. I just play the fucking game. That might, I mean, that might have something to do with me being 27 years old and all these are like fucking 12, 13, I don't know. But, as I say, it's it's just, it's bizarre, honestly. That's all I can say about it. But there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this experience. Uh, the first round of this video is probably a little bit better than this one, but you know, there you go. Um, I will hopefully see you for the next one, the next Skull Merchant video, because there will be more, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, every time a nice skin comes out for a killer, I am going to play as it, because we are a bit of a whale, but, you know, I like to spend my money on things that I enjoy. Uh, and this is one of them. <laughs> Regardless of the thighs. Right, anyway, uh, I just gave away why I enjoy this skin, but we'll ignore that. Well, 
do we have a game or do we have four DCs? <laughs> Did a bit of profile checking. There is a person on this team with a massive fucking ego. The name might tell you who that person is, but you know, we'll test his IQ a little bit, you know. As we go into this. Still there. I think we're keeping her here, there's a scan. That's quite bad movement. She is at a pallet though. Forgot to take Surge off actually. It's fine. So where the fuck did my drone go? I'm pretty sure I just placed one. And over there. Shift W. Wow. Waited for some reason. good to see that these people though aren't DCing because they've sort of actually understand and have an IQ and realise that this killer is literally just an M1 killer and suffers from all the issues that M1 killers do with this game. So it's nice to get a game. This new skin is fucking beautiful, I will say that. Uh, which is why I'm playing as it. This, this skin is literally just school merchant to me now, quite honestly. Wow, this looks fucking busted. Do push him away though. Move the boy. I don't actually know why these haven't done um, a gen yet. I don't care about that. Right, champion of light. We can't chase this guy. This is the reason why. Say perk that's been put into the game with no foresight. Is this the person that's actually giving up? I think we found her. There's always one. Making me have to tap back what I just said about you when I praised you. I asked about that. Here's the star of the show. Just based on his profile, he could be completely awesome, to be honest. Okay. Your profile... Mm. It's just that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when when your profile on Steam actually says that, you know, you're the best at gaming and God's gift to everything, which is what this guy actually says, it's probably satire, but, I mean, really, you just sort of attract this kind of attention. Straight to comp corner. There's two gens gone. Zero context onto why that fucking ape DC'd or gave up. As I've said in the past, no different from any other M1 killer in the game. As long as you know how to loop, you'll escape her. There you go, that's nearly three gens done in that amount of time. Don't know how I didn't see him initially there, but... It's literally a learned rhetoric. 
This is the double slow that this guy keeps doing, which means he's uncatchable until the end. Look at that. Power roll, by the way. That's the nick, I think. There's a sable. Kind of fucking nutty that setup though to be honest I have to say. Like there's a an LT into another one over there. Whatever the fuck the other one is, the, with the window facing it. Didn't go for the save, that was free. We're gonna have to do some drones here because this loop's busted. Twice in this game I've placed the drone now and it's not responded. To break this, it's completely safe otherwise. Again, because it's an M1 killer. Nope. We don't do that shit here. Spoon-fed escapes are not something I give in my games, my friend. So, get fucked, basically. Absolutely fucking bollocks, that shit. This loop's fucking brain dead, mate. What is actual evidence what I'm saying when I say she's literally an M1 killer. I have to wait for my opponent to make a mistake. Well, there you go. That hatch spawn though was complete fucking bullshit. But there you go. That's off to him. They didn't DC apart from one of them in the beginning. They would have fucking won this if she didn't just believe in the fucking monkey brain rhetoric that this uh, community goes by with this killer. She's literally dog shit in chase, but you know. <coughs> there you go. Skin's fucking beautiful though, so I'm gonna play as it. <laughs> quite honestly, I can't give a fuck. I actually think she's quite fun, to be honest, so I'm gonna play as her. See what he was up against. Yeah, he had chemical trap, champion alert. So this 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 perk basically re makes it redundant to chase him because he's going to get slow down every time he uses it. He says it has a, um, a cooldown of sixty seconds, but I've been hit by this in multiple times in a row. So I don't know where this fucking cooldown is. We yeah. are. I think they had one adrenaline on this too. Well, there you go. It's a school merchant gang, ladies and gentlemen. You know? Oh, so controversial. <laughs> I'm going to play more of this killer because I've actually just... Well, the, the art will be on the thumbnail for this video, actually. I did uh, draw her. So, I've also got a speed art video coming maybe soon. I'm speaking into the future here, so fuck knows when it's actually going to happen, but... 
Uh, I did actually record a speed art of me drawing it, which, you know, I plan to do for some of the other kills as well. I was going to do one for Singularity and Unknown at some point, if I can muster the energy again. So, yeah. There we go. See you on the next one.